Hey guys, Predzilla here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are be talking about some more Predator figure news. I know it has been a long time. I don't know how long. I, w I was going to say very long, but I don't know exactly how long it has been. So it might be very long, and it might just be long. But nonetheless, we have some pretty interesting Predator news. Though, some of the stuff that I have, which I only have two things, so one of the things that I have is kind of old, but I wanted to talk about it anyways, because it's NECA related, you know, always got to be talking about NECA. And speaking of NECA, we have an update on the Predator situation for NECA that I will get into after I talk about this new NECA Deluxe Stoneheart Predator from Predator Concrete Jungle, which for those who don't know is a PlayStation 2 game. I don't know if it's on anything else, but I do know for a fact that it is on PlayStation 2. I unfortunately haven't been able to play it, but I wish I did. And this is the second Predator Concrete Jungle figure from NECA, the first one being the main Predator that you play as aka Scarface Predator, which is one of my favorite NECA Predator figures I own. But this figure looks awesome. I don't know much about the character, but I believe that this Predator is like a government experiment gone wrong kind of thing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But this figure is 11 inches tall. But I don't know if that's the accurate height for the Predator because I, I seen a video of Scarface and this Predator next to each other and the Stoneheart Predator didn't look that much taller than the Scarface Predator so it might not be entirely accurate but I could be wrong. But for this figure they have reused some of the mold of the Assassin Predator, which is pretty obvious, while also adding new molding features such as a new roaring head, a some new armor, and new feet for this Predator. I don't believe it is the same kind of feet that they use for the regular Predator figures because obviously this one being 11 inches, I would imagine the feet would probably be bigger which is a good thing because the big flaw with the Assassin Predator is that the feet were very tiny and it made it difficult to stand. So I'm glad that this has regular feet. So that is a good thing for this figure. We also have like some sort of like stuff on the tubing and whatever it is that's all around the figure. I'm not sure what you could call it. But I, I guess that's like some part of like the experiment part of it. Like what they were doing something to it and uh, that's why it looks like that. And also in one of the promotional pictures that we have, I think like the first promotional picture that we have, it looks like the figure might have some LED effects to it with like the blue glow. But that might just be for the image. It might just, you know, for special effects and whatnot. It might not be anything with LED or whatnot. It might just be colored blue on the figure, but we will just have to see. But so far we know that this figure comes with an extra head, whether that be the roaring head or the closed mouth head. It's definitely one of the two. And then we also have interchangeable wrist blades, which they look kind of odd. So for this figure, it has two wrist blades like a regular Predator would unlike the Assassin Predator that has one wrist blade. But on this figure, the wrist blades are like distance apart from each other, and there's wrist blades on both wrists. So in total, there's four blades, I guess you could say. But the blades on each wrist are like separated weird. I don't know. I, it might just be the way how the image looks, but from what I can tell, they look weird. And also a thing that you can tell is that these are like a, a peg-in blades similar to the Fugitive Predator and the Assassin Predator, which on the Fugitive Predator was absolutely horrendous. 
it was terrible. But on the Assassin Predator, if I remember correctly, because I would have to go back and look at the Assassin Predator to know for sure, but I believe that the blade was actually pretty well on the figure, like it didn't fall out too easily, and it actually kind of stayed in there. So if they do it like they did the Assassin Predator, which I would imagine they will, since this basically is a very similar figure to the Assassin Predator, that it would make sense that they would, then the blades might be pretty good. But I wish they would do blades like how they did the Scarface Predator blades, because the, Scar the Scarface Predator blades is probably the best blades out of any Predator that I own because it's really just stick them in there and they don't fall out at all and they're I'm pretty sure like the blades are kind of thick and it's overall just great. <laughs> at least make the pegs longer so they won't pop off so easily because I swear that was like the biggest issue I had with the Fugitive Predator was the blades were just terrible. But out of that we also have at least one pair of hands whether that be the fisted hands or the open hands or maybe even some other hands because it might come with more or one pair of hands, I have no clue. But I would imagine that the fisted hands are going to be the default hands and the open hands are going to be the accessory hands. But we have no information on this figure as of now, I would imagine since it's similar to the Assassin Predator, obviously, it's most likely going to be $50. But the release for the figure is totally out of mind, like, I have no clue what the release is going to be. And I wouldn't expect this to be releasing anytime soon, because on the update for the NECA Predator situation, NECA has revealed the reason why Predator reveals and releases have been very spotty is because they need permission to release and reveal the Predator figures, which that makes sense for the reveal part, but I didn't think that they would need permission to release their products. I figured that would be more control of the figure company, but I guess not, unless their company is the one who is doing that, and they're like, and eh, we're not going to release the Predator figures, which is would kind of suck, like the higher authority part of the, the NECA company, or I don't know, something like that. But who exactly do they need permission from? Is it Disney? Is it 20th Century Fox? Is it someone else? Personally, I think it is Disney because if you don't know, Disney like bought part of Fox or like temporarily owns part of Fox or something like that or maybe entirely of Fox. I have no clue really on that situation. All I know is there is some sort of deal that Disney made with Fox and now Disney owns the rights to Predator and Alien. And mainly, I would also think it has something to do with the Predator lawsuit that I have mentioned multiple times in these figure news is that the reason why the releases are stank is because of the Predator lawsuit and pretty much that all just comes down to Disney. So it could very well be Disney's fault, but I also could be wrong because nothing is confirmed. They've only confirmed that they need permission. They didn't confirm who they need permission from, which I would imagine they probably can't release that information because if they did, they'd probably get in trouble. But I did hear that there was like some sort of conclusion or something that happened with the Predator lawsuit. So hopefully things will get better, but I don't know. We will just have to see. But I do hope things get better because I mainly overall really want to see a new NECA Wolf Predator and a new NECA Predalien. That is the main borderline of, you know, everything for the NECA Predator is those two are the ones that I want the most. Because they have, for those who are wondering and don't know, they have confirmed that they will be making a Ultimate Wolf Predator and an Ultimate Predalien. But since everything's going, it's probably not going to be getting those anytime soon because they had a bunch of other stuff planned ahead of those two, like the rest of the Ultimate Lost Tribe and some other things like the Stoneheart Predator and maybe some other 
Ultimates, maybe from like AVP or Predators, you know, a bunch of things that were going to be coming out before the Ultimate Wolf Predator and Ultimate Predalien. But hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to see the day where I get to hold an, an Ultimate Wolf Predator and on the other hand, an Ultimate Predalien. But I'll probably end up being like 30 years old or something, I don't know. <laughs> But only time will tell. But lastly, the thing that we have for today is we have a new Secret Compass Berserker Predator statue, which shows Berserker killing the captured Predator, which looks pretty cool. The statue stands at about 28 inches tall and is limited to only 500 statues each and is about $1,700 which is actually currently for sale for $1,689. And the statue ships April 2022. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll have some more Predator figure news very soon, as I say all the time at the end of the videos, but they don't really ever end up being true. But hopefully this time, they will be true, and they most likely will not. But since we have the upcoming Predator 5 Prey, hopefully we'll get something figure-related. I know we'll definitely get something movie-related, so I am pretty excited for that. But in the meantime, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!